All right, so we've covered hooks. Just the wide gap wacky hook, the weedless wacky hook, and the weighted wacky hook. That's gonna give you lots of options in a variety of conditions to keep uh, your best, to give you the best chance to catch that bass. But let's talk about the wacky worm in particular, all right? I carry lots of options, as you can see. Let's talk about some of the simplest here. How do you choose what kind of worm to use in this kind of scenario? As you see, I've got pretty clear water here. It's got a little stain, so I've got <clears throat> maybe three to four feet of visibility. Um, that's gonna determine what kind of worm I'm gonna use. If it's something that's clear, something that can present some natural colors, that's what I'm gonna search for. So something like, <clears throat> This is Zinkers, it's green pumpkin and red flake. It gives it a little bit of pop in clearer water and that allows a little bit of an attraction as you throw it up in these weeds and everything else. Now, if it's a, if it's a little muddier, um, I might go with something darker like a uh, black and blue flake or I might go with this like green pumpkin and goby that has like more of a purple dark green to it. If you're looking for one worm, the one worm I can tell you that is the best all around worm, if you're gonna start wacky rigging, is green pumpkin. It's a natural color, fish love it. Start here, it works in a variety of conditions. You can even work it in some cloudy conditions. You can work it in water that's stained. You can work it in clear water. This is a really great option for anybody that wants to start out and should always be in your tackle bag. Sometimes when I feel like the conditions are just a little too muddy, too dark, uh, not so clear, I'll choose color options that have a little bit of pop to them. So this has green pumpkin, but it also has this really bright chartreuse. I find that it just stands out a little better as it's floating down in the water column. Um, and that's a really good choice. You can even do, uh, in winter, pinks even will work. So I love this kind of copper and, and chartreuse color that really stands out. So that's how I match the kind of hook and the kind of worm. I typically look for a larger size worm, like a five inch I'll start out. Um, if I'm really having a tough bite, I might even get a three inch worm. But you know, this is going to give us a slow presentation. It's going to fall slowly through the water column. It's really about making sure you've got the right hook for the situation, the right worm for the water clarity. You match those two together, you get it up where the bass are, you're going to put bass in the boat.